familiar. So um, we will go back through and do an exactly some practice. So we're going to actually do these problems um, a couple different ways. The first, the first way, though, is going to get us, again, familiar with doing slope-intercept form. So in this case, I have 3x plus 5y equals 15. Um, previously, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about graphing in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And for those of you that were not here, first thing we graphed was the y-intercept, which was a coordinate point on the y-axis. Right? You found whatever your y-intercept was, you plotted it. And then we had our slope. To find the next point, we used slope as a ratio of rise over run. The change in the y-coordinates over the change in the x-coordinates to determine the next points. Once we had two points, we could connect. And that was helpful, because otherwise, we'd be creating a table of values, which would be a lot more work. Right? We only need two points for a line. Where other functions, we need, might need more points. So it's, it's, more, it's helpful to use a table in, a, in that kind of format. But for a line, if we just know two points, we can connect and we're good. So you guys can see. Obviously, this equation is not in slope-intercept form. All right? Um, this equation is in what we call standard form. And we're going to use that ax plus by equals c format um, a little bit later in a different video. But the first thing I want to go over with you guys is how to graph this in slope-intercept form. Because some of you might be like, I understand slope-intercept form. Um, but when it's in this format, I can't really do anything. So what we want to do in this problem, you guys are going to do these problems three different ways. The first way is to rewrite this in slope-intercept form. So to do that, I need to put it in this format. So you guys see we have a variable y. And in this course, we did solving literal equations, right? where you solve for a variable with the variable in the answer. And that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to solve for y. So you look at my y and say my y is being multiplied by 5 as well as being added by 3x. So to undo, we need to undo everything that's happening. So we always undo addition and subtraction first. So that's going to go to 0. And I'm left with 5y equals. Now remember, we're writing it into slope-intercept form. We always want to write the 3x before the 15. So that's a negative 3x, and that is a positive 15. Does everybody follow me so far? Notice how I, haven't done any, I didn't do anything with the y. I didn't subtract, put the y anything. I didn't move the y. I put a red circle around it because that was pinning it. I'm not doing anything to the y. I'm just undoing everything that's happening to it. Now you can see my y is being multiplied by 5. So I undo that by dividing by 5. And I'm left with y equals negative 3x plus 15 divided by 5. All right. But ladies and gentlemen, in literal equations, again, I allowed you guys to use that um, format. But again, when we're graphing it in slope-intercept form, we're going to want to make sure we divide that 5 into both of them. So I have y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 15 over 5. I'm just doing this like every single step. So hopefully everybody has good notes. So then your final answer is 3. Now, can we go ahead and graph this? Can we grasp it faster? Yes. yes. So now, using my slope-intercept form that I have over here, I determine my y-intercept, which is 0, 3. Notice that the y-intercept goes on the y-axis. So I go up 3 units, 1, 2, 3, and make a nice big dot. It does, the y-intercept does not go on the x-axis. I still saw a couple of those mistakes last class period. That's the x-axis. This is the y-axis. Y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. Now the slope is negative 3 fifths. So again, negative 3 fifths can be written as negative 3 over 5 or 3 over negative 5. It doesn't matter which one. It just cannot be negative 3 over negative 5 because that would be a positive 3 fifths. So I'm going to use this as my slope. So if the change in the y-coordinates is negative 3, I'm going to go down 3. And if the change in the x-coordinates is positive 5, I'm going to go to the right 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So go down 3 over 5. That creates my slope triangle, which now helps me produce my graph. And you can just continue that slope to keep on finding more points on the graph if you need to. OK? Cool? OK. So that is